This is from Terry's Voice, terryvoice.blogspot.com, Thursday, January 23rd, 2014. Free voiceover lessons, basics, demo. I discontinued voiceover training and coaching and for years still received inquiries about how to start a voiceover career, which simply has no concise response. While no longer teaching, I have decided to post increments from my Basics Training Event workbook here, with a link to an audio track narrated by me. It's my hope to help those interested in learning more about voiceover and what's involved in starting a career. The third in this series is an introduction to voiceover demos. TCVO Prevents Really? TCVO Presents Spring into Voiceover Copyright Terry Clark Linden, 2014. Book Copyright, 2011. Demos. The first thing after training you need for your voiceover career is a voiceover demo. You can't get an agent without one. There's no point in having a website without one. You can't market yourself without one. You need one, and that's that. In Pat Fraley's Demo World, he identifies six demo types, and suggests that professional voiceover talent are now encouraged to create and maintain from two to six of the top six voiceover demos, which are commercial, animation slash character, interactive slash gaming, narration, audiobook, promo slash trailer. I have been able to broaden my market to include every genre mentioned, even those not controlled by agents, primarily through my home studio use. Ta-da! What you need starting out. You are just starting out, and in a smaller market, assuming that you're watching this from a smaller market. So you will need to focus on a commercial demo first. Jason Susportis, my agent at Stewart Talent in New York, says this is about getting your first demo. No, he says this about getting your first demo. I strongly encourage talent who are brand new to the business to avoid putting together a reel until they've had considerable training and are very comfortable with their reads. This is mainly because demos are very expensive. The well-produced ones, that is. Jason says in New York they generally run about 1400 and I think that's about the same for Chicago and L.A., maybe a little more in L.A. As a producer of commercial demos, I would say the key to keeping the cost low is having as much of the material ready to go before you step into the recording booth. I work with my students to build a script library full of versatile copy and styles, hopefully picking out selections that are not only written differently, but more importantly, show off my students' vocal ability and range. Combination Demo In the Midwest, you can get away with producing a demo type called a combination demo, which is basically a commercial demo with maybe a bit of narration, accent, or character thrown in towards the end. This is acceptable because our smaller markets might not support enough work in other genres to warrant separate demos. Of course, say, for instance, your forte is cartoons and you want to market yourself as an animation voiceover talent from your home studio, then by all means, get an animation demo made. If this is the route you want to go, then I strongly suggest going to where the best teachers and producers for this genre are, and that's L.A. Personal Style While you are here in the Midwest, though, Get a commercial-slash-combination demo made to have as your base. Once you have all your versatile material, cuts and bits totaling no more than one minute, and are ready to record, you shouldn't be more than five hours in the recording booth, on average. It depends how talented and creative you are behind the mic, and how talented and creative your producer-slash-engineer is behind the table. Pat Fraley says a demo shouldn't be too heavily produced. The music and sound effects shouldn't overshadow your performance. He also says you need to develop a personal style, and that needs to come forth first thing on the demo. You need to grab the listener in the first five minutes. Five minutes. When speaking to personal style, think about... Wait a minute. Whoa. 
Whoa, this is funny. I just noticed something that I actually published, that it's published, it's out there, it's been in my students' hands, and it's incorrect. You need to grab the listener in the first five seconds. Five seconds is what that should say. Now, I'm going to have to go back and adjust that on my blog. Um, how interesting. Interesting. I just now got that out of all the times I've looked at this. Well, this is live, so there you go. Finding mistakes, making mistakes. Okay. So Pat Fraley says, um, and this is still true, I, I do believe, you need to grab the listener in your demo in the first five seconds. Five seconds. When speaking to personal style, think about your strengths as a performer. What do you really like to perform? What interests you? What do you feel confident with? Is it cartoon voices and comedy? Or do you have a husky and smoky voice? Or a penchant for storytelling? The more you practice your voice, the more confident and aware you become of your ability which goes back to what Jason Sisportis said about training and being comfortable with your reads before getting a demo. Research and rates. In a smaller market like Dayton, Ohio, I recommend contacting recording studios and asking about commercial voiceover demo production. Be specific. Ask if they produce commercials and work with voiceover talent. Maybe they just produce musicians. If they do produce commercials, find out if their engineer also directs. Ask if they have any samples you can hear. Find out rates for their advertising clients. Charge per hour for studio time, which should include engineer, mixing, music, and sound effects, any post-production, and see if they offer a reduced rate for demos. In Detroit, I found most to do, though your time may be bumpable if a full-paying... Sorry... In Detroit, most do, though your time may be bumpable if a full-price paying client needs your time slot and you may have to reschedule. Still, the difference between $300 and $125 an hour at 5 to 8 hours can be a big one, and it's worth checking into. Pat Fraley, if you haven't found out by now, I'm a huge Pat Fraley fan. Pat Fraley is in LA and he's an amazing voiceover talent, teacher, and demo producer. He offers an audiobook workshop where at the end of two days you not have only learned about voiceover in the audiobook world, but you walk away with a top tier audiobook demo. Pat also offers private coaching and will produce your demo in a recording studio working with an engineer. Trained by Pat, I feel confident directing and helping students find their vocal strengths and variety and personal style, and getting them ready to record a demo. For the past couple of demos I coached my students toward, I attended their recording sessions at RMS Recording Studios in Detroit for the first hour, and being on hand, I helped directed what had been created by us working just one-on-one, -on -one, and working a bit with the engineer and producer to determine what kind of effects and music, if any, we'd like under the voiceover placement of the pieces, etc. I also jumped behind the mic for my male students and did a name slate for them. I recently talked with a recording engineer who said he did a demo for a talent where it became apparent very quickly the actor had no training. They did not know what they were doing behind the mic, so all their scripts sounded the same and were the same style. Yes, Virginia, you need training. You don't have to wait years before getting your demo, either. There is a lot of prep work for demos you can do on your own that costs little money. Edge Studios on the Internet offers free practice scripts. So do magazines in the library or transcribing commercials you record on television. Practice and play back your voice on an array of recorded scripts on your own and find a voice coach to work with to help you with training. Together, you can work towards creating a viable basic demo to begin marketing yourself as a voiceover talent. Once you begin to make money and gain more skills, you can work toward refining your demo and laying down tracks for a second genre, like character or narration. Well, thanks for watching again. I'm going to go now uh, back into my audio and re-record where I said five minutes instead of five seconds, and then I'm going to 
throw it back up on the Dropbox, create a link, and change it on my blog, as well as change it on the blog um, where it's, it's typed. Unfortunately, I can't change that in the book, but if I go ahead and publish that book again, I, I certainly will. Gosh, I just I just love live stuff. I love finding stuff new all the time. Anyway, thanks for listening. Um, the next fourth in the series will be on professional protocol. Bye.